welcome to today's vlog today is monday january 11 2021 so i'm just starting off my vlog like after one only because i got off work late so again i didn't get to walk but anyway it is okay yes 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 honey it is okay because i'm gonna get, do my exercise here my sit-ups my jumping jacks my planks my squats and that's all but anyway i don't know what happened here right here i have no idea what happened but anyway yeah i'm gonna do that before i start um making my bed and everything because um i have to do dinner and i'm gonna show you guys that i'm doing um, chicken noodle soup and i'm doing chili as well so yeah two meals so yeah i had a taste for both so i decided to cook both so yeah i'm gonna show that to you guys and yeah that's what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to do my exercise and make my bed up and then I'm going to cook and share with you guys my uh, chicken noodle soup and my chili. Uh, both recipes, nothing I created. So I did get off Pinterest. So that's, yeah. what, that's what we have in today. So yeah. So I'm going to do like a little quick food haul. To get two onions. Taco cheese for my chili. Jalapeno jack and mild cheddar. This is for my chili. They didn't have green pepper, so I just got this. Um, some carrot, sea salt, and I roasted diced tomatoes. And I also picked up some um, pitted diced tomatoes. And I also picked up some tomato sauce here. And then for my chili as well, I got some dark kidney beans here. And I got some pinto beans. I also picked up some chicken stock for my chicken soup. Uh, some beef stock, some garden rotini. For my chicken soup and i also picked up some chicken wings i got some tarragon i just like to have different herbs on hand in case i come across a recipe that needs different things and i can just grab it i picked up some spinach uh, i picked up some crackers and it's just the, the saltine mini cracker i picked up uh some mocha mudslide bay leaf uh coffee creamer so yeah i never tried this before i always get the irish cream but I saw this one, so I got that. Uh, I picked this up. My husband liked this on his chili. Um, I'm missing a nail, guys. I did my press on nails. Sorry for interrupting you talking about my nails. But yeah, I did my nails last night. And one popped off already. Wow, really? So I did pick up some celery that goes into my chicken soup. I picked up this. To get the McCormick Original Chili. I picked up some... Some vanilla syrup, some more hot sauce, chipotle, and I love chipotle. Uh, I picked up some turmeric. This goes into my um my chicken soup. All purpose seasonings, just random. It doesn't consist to go in my um recipe. Uh, I picked up some garlic, fresh garlic, because I didn't want to get any kind. I had to peel. I don't have time for that. I picked up some um decaffeinated coffee, Folgers coffee, only because I like my little coffee on the weekend. And I picked up some jalapeno pepper jelly. I had a taste for some jalapeno jelly. I was watching Wendy today and she was eating jalapeno pepper jelly. So yeah, and I've been wanting some because my mom had some pineapple pepper jelly and I didn't taste it, but it smells so delicious. But um, I was in a grocery store, so I came across this. So I picked this up and I'm just gonna add this to like uh, a slice of bagel with like some cream cheese or I can do uh, a slice of bagel, this jalapeno pepper jelly with uh, avocado. But yeah, I can't wait to try this and I'll share that with you guys how it tastes. And I also picked up some green onions that go on top of our chili. And two all natural ground turkeys for my chili. Sorry guys, um, I didn't show the prepping process, but I'm showing the cooking process. So in this pot, which you're looking at right here, I have my uh, chicken stock going and I just have turmeric in here. I have some thyme in here, carrots, I have celery, I have um, yellow and orange peppers. I didn't put any onions and I didn't put any garlic in here, um, but I am going to cut up a half onion and put it in here. And then right here i have my ground turkey going uh red pepper onions 
and I'm getting ready to put in some smoked paprika. Once it's brown, some smoked paprika, some cumin, some chili powder, and also my McCormick uh, powder as well. And right here, I have my my little party wings cooking, and I'm gonna add that once this is uh, all finished cooking and done to my um, chicken stock over here. Chili is simmering just mixing in some chili powder here so i have everything in here that was supposed to go in this chili and it's looking so good already and i put in some bay leaves and i cut up an onion as well so i added my chicken and i added that broth to my chicken stock i have the noodles here there then so first off i'm gonna have chicken noodle soup sprinkle some crackers in here and then after eat this i'm gonna try my my chili this soup is so good with the weather and all so good so here's my chili i have some green chili hot sauce sour cream green onions shredded cheese and make a, a spinach turkey bacon quiche so majority healthy so this is the pie crust i'm using right here uh, 425 degree oven i had it in the oven for eight minutes turkey bacon scallions and orange bell peppers so yeah and this is a cheese i'm gonna put in here sharp cheddar and oh yeah and i also have purple onions cook it in here as well and I have some feta cheese. I love feta guys, so have to have my feta. And these are the eggs I'm using because the recipe calls, again, this is a Pinterest recipe. I woke up with a taste for quiche. So you're like, well, uh, let me make it instead of going to buy one. So uh, the recipe calls for Eggland's best cage-free eggs. I'm not sure you can use any eggs, but the recipe I'm using calls for this. It says use six of these eggs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm letting this cook up. And I'm gonna put this at the bottom of my pie crust and then I'm just gonna um, crack eggs open and um, mix the eggs. And then pour that over a turkey bacon mixture. inside the pie crust and then I'm gonna bake it for like, I think it says 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. I can't wait to eat that. But you can do your cheese however you feel like doing your cheese. And I'm also gonna do some asparagus. And I'm also going to add some spinach. Rinse your spinach off and put it in a paper towel or a towel. And just wring out the excess water spinach. before placing your spinach inside your pie crust. Okay? Okay. So now what we're going to do is put the turkey bacon mixture inside this crust here. And you can uh, cut up your bacon smaller than what I have mine. It's your preference. You do what you please. I just did it this way. And I'm okay with this. And the feta cheese is just my touch. So here's my quiche, guys. The oven is on 425. Delicious. So, yes, I'll come back and show you guys once it's all finished. Bye. So here's my asparagus. Put this at the bottom, and I also spray this on my asparagus. Now, and I'm putting some dash seasoning. On. I'm going to also put some sea salt on here and black pepper. eight to ten minutes because i want to keep that crunch to it and i'll come and show you everything once i plate it peace out i have a taste for some iced coffee and i added a little amaretta creamer to my iced coffee so here's my quiche all done. Can't wait to taste it. This is my quiche. I just put the chili, green pepper, hot sauce over my quiche. And it's so good. And here's my asparagus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good day. I'm so glad.